So I had this like ongoing frustration almost for many years because I used to like do a bunch of beauty routines, nails included, and I would feel like I was spending just a ton of time on them. Uh, and being an engineer, I was like mostly surrounded by male colleagues and it was a problem that they super did not relate to because like the immediate reaction was like, okay, so don't do it. And I was like, yeah, that's not how it works. Ready. When a PR friend of ours sent us this thing saying, by the way, <laughs> Uh, so we've tried to make it as intuitive as possible. Um, you load a cartridge into the machine. Uh, it's kind of like loading an espresso pod, like a coffee pod. Um, and then you place your hand on the handrest, and that's all the user has to do. Uh, what the machine is doing is sort of taking a bunch of pictures of uh, a person's finger and building a 3D map. And that 3D map gets sent to an AI that we've built, uh, which sort of uh, identifies edges of the nail. And it, it can do this at sub-millimeter accuracy, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then it sort of instructs, like the algorithms instruct the robot where it should go to put the polish on your nail. Because like this is really a convenience thing. So we want to be in office buildings. So when you're taking a break at work or uh, in residential complexes, um, it, it should be like at airports when people are waiting. Um, we think it can also be at retail stores because retail is really looking for um, this whole experiential thing because they want to differentiate from online. Uh, Yeah, so just in the US, it's about eight and a half billion dollars for nail services alone. Um, and obviously, this is not just a US thing, it's like worldwide. Um, estimates put it at around 50 billion worldwide. Um, I suspect it's actually quite a lot more. And the interesting thing here is we aren't just catering to the people who already go to get their nails done. The number of people who've come here to this store and told us, oh my God, I never get my nails done. I don't have the time for it. Uh, so like this way I'm, I'm you know, able to do something way quicker than I could do at home, way better than I could do at home. Um, so we really see this as expanding that market. Well, I understand the, the, the urgency for something quick, easy and cheap, which is, you know, what we gravitate towards now in the future. But there's still something to say about a, lux a luxury, customizable, one-on-one -on -one, um, service that I think is what we actually do need and what is actually of value. But, but I don't feel quite intimidated because that's not necessarily my client and there is a lane for that. We not only work on your nail health, we do really detailed cuticle work and make everything look really clean, moisturize you. Um, there's nail art that can be totally customizable, your colors, um, things that m motivate you and make you feel beautiful. And that's something a robot just can't provide, unfortunately.